Let's face it, digging post holes isn't much fun. Renting a power auger makes it easier, providing you and your helper are plenty strong. But if the soil is rocky or has heavy clay, you'll probably end up digging those holes by hand anyway. Here are some tips to make that job as fast and painless as possible. Clamshell diggers like these are must-have tools, but unless you're an NFL linebacker, get a small one like this. Huge heavy diggers like this will just wear you out. This one weighs 5 pounds. This one weighs in at 15 pounds. So every time you pull out some dirt, you're lifting 10 extra pounds worth of tool. That means hundreds of pounds of extra lifting for every single post hole. Look for a digger that closes as much as possible, like this one. See the opening on this one? Well, if you're in loose soil, half of the dirt will leak back into the hole as you're lifting it out. The other must-have tool is a drain tile shovel. This works great at loosening the soil at the bottom of the hole before you extract it with the clamshell. But the ones sold at stores all have this D-handle, and the short handle gives you no leverage, is hard on the wrist, and you have to work far too long on your knees. That's why years ago, I ditched the D-handle and installed a long shovel handle in its place. The long handle also works better for digging trenches. I'll show you how to alter this one and make it one of these. Remove the D-handle by grinding off the rivet and driving it out with a punch. Then the handle will pull right out of the hosel. Mix up some epoxy, slather it on the handle, and stick it into the blade hosel. Tap the handle on the floor to drive it home and then drill a quarter inch hole through the new handle. Slip in a quarter by two inch bolt, tighten it up, and it'll be ready for work when the epoxy hardens. With your custom tile shovel and the correct clamshell digger, you'll have those holes dug in no time. 